All right, let's try challenge number 14. We are almost to the end of this whole section. Um, just 14 and 15 left. So we have a banana behind us. And I can see some repeating with these two blocks and the banana. Um, but I'm not yet sure what I'm going to put in my loop. And it's important to not just throw your loop up right away. That worked at the beginning when we were only putting like one block in the loop. It doesn't work when you're doing advanced loops. So the first thing we need to do is get this banana. So that's going to be jump that way and go forward. Now, when I run that, just so I can have my monkey standing here, when I go forward this way, I don't think I need that in, in the loop, and then maybe forward one more, and maybe I'll start my loop there, I think, and climb over each little hump. So I need to add in two go forwards. Um, and what that'll do is actually put the monkey right back here, right? So jump up this way, go that way to get the banana, then one, two, and we're right back here. By the way, a really good strategy if you're trying to solve this challenge is to pause the video and go back and put in the first part of your code and then come back and watch the rest. This way you don't have to try to remember it all. So now that I'm standing here, the next blocks need to get my monkey, I guess basically right over here. So this should be pretty simple. We're gonna go straight up, forward one, forward two. So I'm actually gonna put that in the loop. Straight up, forward one, forward two. Now normally I don't like to put my sequence with multiple blocks right into the loop but because we already have four here, it's just for my brain at this moment, it's easier to have this inside of its loop. If something doesn't work, I know these four blocks are okay and I just need to work on this loop. So I might go back and take it off and refigure it out, but I'm gonna give this a try. So anytime we don't use a strategy of testing without the loop, we just need to remember if something goes wrong to take the loop off and go back to that strategy. This solution earned three stars. They're saying I could, or I'm sorry, earn two stars. I might wanna try shorter code. It is okay to move on if you've earned two stars. If you would like to earn, get shorter code, Keep watching. If you're fine with two stars, you can stop the video now. So I'm gonna go back and take a look. Anytime it's telling us we can shorten our code, one thing we wanna maybe look at is, is there something kind of at the front of the code that's also at the back of the code? So do you see how we end with going forward because we're sort of starting our loop from here. Jump up, go forward, go forward. But what if we started our loop from here? I'll show you what I mean. So this and this get to the banana. Jump up, go forward. Now, if we go forward, go forward, then jump up. See how we get the banana? Then we could do it again. Go forward, go forward, then jump up. So I'll show you how that would look different. Both solutions are fine, but they like to get us to think about another way that we could write this code. So this part gets to that banana, then this pattern will get should get us to the treasure. Let's see it. And look at that. 
That's a good strategy when you're trying to shorten code. Is there something you're repeating in the front of a loop and at the back? But again, two stars is absolutely fine and you could have left it that way.